the session is just a basic background around the uh, similarity and uh, the dissimilarity between uh, PostgreSQL and MySQL. So here is a brief uh, MySQL history. So MySQL was uh, founded by a Shodesk company called MySQL AB in 1995. And then in 2008, it was acquired by, uh, by MySQL. AB was acquired by Sun and in 2000, 10 Sun was acquired by Oracle in 2012 it was a, a period when uh, MySQL was uh, split into the, there was one more for which is uh, MariaDB which was founded by uh, Michael uh, Michael Widenius uh, and his company name was uh, called as the Monty program AB then MariaDB was replaced uh, MySQL by most distribution in the year uh, 2013 and uh, uh, then in 2014, uh, Sky SQL AB gave new name as MariaDB Corporation. So when we talk about MariaDB or MySQL, we have one image only, like it is it is a fork of MySQL only. Let's talk about the PostgreSQL. So PostgreSQL was uh, introduced in the year 1977 as uh, Ingress, and then in 1986 uh, it was uh, uh, developed with the name Postgre under uh, uh, leadership of uh, Michael Stone Bracker, and in 1990 it has included the feature of uh, acid compliance and uh, PL. Uh, and then in uh, 1995, uh, the first uh, official release of uh, Postgre was released as Postgre uh, 95, and uh, it was released as uh, PostgreSQL 6.0 in 1996. Then a very stable uh, uh, version was released in 2009 and uh, from 10 onwards, it is very, very stable and one of the more leading uh, uh, RDBMS, uh, RDBMS so open source uh, database. Here are some of the differences between MySQL and PostgreSQL. Both are open source. When we talk about PostgreSQL, uh, SQL, it was released under the PostgreSQL license as free open source license, and this is like a BSD and MIT licenses. MySQL source code is available under the uh, GNU, which is general public license. When we talk about the asset, uh, it is acid compliant postgresql is completely acid compliant mysql is not uh, a little bit lesser than that because the it has different uh, uh, storage engines and when you are using it with InnoDB and NDB cluster then it is uh, acid compliant else uh, you, you may have the problem when we talk about the sql compliance postgresql is uh, SQL compliant, but uh, MySQL is not completely uh, uh, SQL compliant because of uh, the uh, some of the things like uh, check constraints uh, it doesn't work for. Then we have the community support. PostgreSQL has features and security which are enhanced on a regular basis and the same is for the uh, MySQL as well. When we talk about the performance of PostgreSQL, read and write speed is is really uh, a lot uh, as compared to the near nearest uh, competitors when we talk about the MySQL is it is mainly used in web-based application that needs a database for huge data transaction so PostgreSQL it is uh, uh, faster in terms of read and write and uh, MySQL if it is uh, the huge data and if, if it is web-based application then it is used uh, PostgreSQL is good for complex queries, but MySQL it is it is good for read operation and it works both for uh, OLAP and uh, OLTP. When we talk talk about the JSON, uh, PostgreSQL supports JSON and another NoSQL like XML support. Uh, when we talk about MySQL, JSON support uh, doesn't work with the uh, uh, JSON support works but doesn't support NoSQL. So in terms of the uh, support metrics, PostgreSQL support JSON and uh, same is true for MySQL but when we uh, doesn't support the uh, NoSQL like uh, XML. When we talk about the metalized view, uh, PostgreSQL doesn't support 
but MySQL support. This is so. This is one of the additional feature in, in MySQL when we talk about the positivity. When we say uh, the default values, it can be changed at the set, uh, system uh, session level or the statement level, but uh, in, in MySQL, you cannot do that. What are the disadvantages of using MySQL? When a server is crashed, it corrupts the uh, system catalog tables and uh, transactions are not handled very efficiently in MySQL. It doesn't def, uh, support a very large uh, database uh, very efficiently. It doesn't support some of the things like road commit and uh, uh, stored process procedures if you are on, on the lower version. It has poor performance scaling. Development is not uh, community driven uh, or it has lagged behind. It is just a support matrix. It is not, I do not mean anywhere that there is no support. Both are doing good, but when we talk the comparison because Postgre is growing like anything. When we talk about the disadvantages of using Postgre SQL, there is no upgrade facility if you directly wanted to upgrade. That's not possible, so you need to to take an export and uh, then you need to import into the new new uh, uh, version of the binary which you are going to install so indexes cannot be used directly and uh, query execution plans are not cast so this is just a basic background like uh, how mm, this is going to work uh, the main difference between postgresql and and so now if you see the postgresql they they have uh, uh, taken its own place in the market in terms of because if if, if we go back just to recap like where it is good so uh, both are asset compliant PostgreSQL and MySQL but uh, PostgreSQL is better right uh, because the the storage engines which are there in that uh, uh, it's just two storage engines mainly but in case of MySQL there are many and uh, if you are on InnoDB and NDB clusters, then only it supports SQL compliant. Uh, Postgre is better. Uh, and then we talk about the performance, the read and write performance is better in PostgreSQL. And if it is uh, complex queries, then PostgreSQL is better. When we talk about JSON and NoSQL files like uh, XML support, then your PostgreSQL is better. So that's all about uh, the basic things, the differences and similarity between PostgreSQL and uh, and uh, MySQL. I hope it is going to help and uh, thanks for watching.